Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So this is our second video for today. But before I go into the main story, I got this message from a subscriber last night. It is on your screen. It says, Good night, Mr. Popeye. I am writing you because I am desperate right now. I have applied for new service from JPS in September of last year. I was advised it should take five business days and nothing has happened since. I reached out to several persons in high position in the company. They said they are investigating. Based on the result, the transformer box has no power so no meter cannot be connected. Please note what this lady has just said. She said, based on the result, the transformer box has no power so no meter cannot be connected. She continued, in October, I was told by the customer service agent that the technician was on their way to do the connection. It was not done. <laughs> you heard that. She said it was not done. She continued. So I continued to follow up with them with no resolution. January 13, my husband went to the office in Montego Bay and was advised that an engineer would be going to see what's going on. Up until now, nothing. The sad thing about all of this is a $6,000 deposit was required which was paid. <laughs> Hear this now. She said, I got a bill for actual reading that I hold JPS over $19,000. You heard that? The lady said, No, I got a bill for actual reading that I owe JPS over $19,000. She went on to ask, Is this a company that we should trust? This company is holding people hostage because there is no competition there is no progress no accountability just dishonesty these things don't build a country mr papai thank you for your service god bless so i saw the message this morning and immediately i responded i said good morning so let me understand this was a meter installed on your house <laughs> The lady responded, No, there is no meter. I then said to her, Could I get a copy of the bill that they sent you? No name will be exposed. The lady responded, Okay, I will send it. <laughs> now, look on your screen. Look on your screen. I have redacted a few details. So, look carefully on the bill. It says, Actual Reading. The bill is saying that the meter, <laughs> the bill is saying that the meter that was not installed was read on January 4. <laughs> JPS, how come? Jamaica Public Service, how come? <laughs> Something not right at all. <laughs> Something, you know, <laughs> sometimes, you know, you just have to take bad things, make laugh. Because they are saying that they went to read a meter. That was installed on this lady's house. I must want up a meter that. Lady. <laughs> lady. Your husband can see ghost. Make him go look again. Because. <laughs> something not right. Something not right at all. JPS. <laughs> Boy may I tell you. So in the video that we carried earlier. The last story that I carried. Was about a man named Damian Thompson. Damian is popularly known as the Seeker. That's Yeka, he was shot and killed at Garden in White House. Two other males were also shot and injured. You can go back and listen to that story if you haven't yet listened to it. Now, a PNL detective has contacted me and I'm going to post the message on your screen that the person sent me. The person said, Good afternoon, Sir Papai. Just a correction because I know all three victims that got shot at White House last night 
Damien and Prami, both living at Vietnam and Scribble lives at Nesbury Lane. So I had said that Damien, also known as Daseka, he was living at Nesbury Lane. The PNL detective is correcting me to say no. Damien, also known as Daseka, he lived at Vietnam. The PNL detective went on. The incident took place at Garden, close to the Church of God of Prophecy and not far from where African was killed. Now, I had carried a story about Africans killing. If you missed that story, just search for Gaussian African Myers on YouTube. If you look on your screen, that is how his name is spelled. Type it in and search for that story. The PNL detective continued. I could say a lot, but for now, I'll just let you know that Prami was the main target because they said he's responsible for the death of African. So as long as he's alive, there's going to be a reprisal on both sides of the gang war. Remember that Prami, he was shot in his right foot. The PNL detective is saying that Prami was the target and persons are saying that he is responsible for the death of African. <laughs> the mayhem. The me so let me ask you know something. <laughs> let me ask you know something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, yesterday, I got this news. Yesterday, I got the news. The body of a man was found with his feet and neck bound. He was found at Mount Osborne near Leeds and the Santa Cruz to Malvern Main Road in the parish of St. Elizabeth. He was found early Friday morning, February 10, about 5.30. The police, they said that he was murdered, but they did not say how he was killed. The police also stated that the man, he was unidentified. Well, we did some digging and we found out who this young man is. Look on your screen. That's the young man who was killed on your screen. I'm going to read the WhatsApp message that was sent to us by a subscriber. The person said, Good morning, Papai. This young man, name is Kiwian Harvey. He was recently posted as missing but was found dead yesterday with his throat slashed and his feet and neck bound in Leeds, St. Elizabeth. I know this young man very well because he is from the district that I am from in St. James. To be precise, Niagara District. He was only 17 and would celebrate his 18th birthday on February 28th. Everybody who knew him can tell you that he was a very decent, humble and mannerable young man. I too can vouch for him. He attended Cornwall College and did well. He was so humble that on weekends, mostly, he would be seen walking through the community and adjoining areas to sell vegetable for his parents. He also assisted his parents with farming. On the day he was killed, it is said that he was acting strange and because he developed mental health issues suddenly. As a result, he went to Leeds where he threw stones into someone's vehicles and home and he was killed for this. If only his killers knew that he was ill, he strayed away from home and needed to be treated. He would not hurt anyone if he was in his right mind. He was a good kid who was from a godly, humble home. The entire community, including myself, is grieving and saddened. We have become so cold-hearted as a nation and love to apply jungle justice. May God help us and may his soul rest in peace. Now, I also went on Facebook and I saw this post. It was written by a close family member of Kiwain. It says, Dear murderers of Kiwain Harvey, 
Did you know that the person you all killed was 18 years old? Did you know that you killed him just before his birthday on February 28th? Did you know he has never acted out or wronged anyone before? Did you know that when you killed him, it was the first night he had ever been out by himself? Did you know he had six subjects and was to go to school in March? Did you know that we, his family, was looking for him, hopeful that this would not be the outcome? Did you once think that him acting differently may have been a cry for help? That he might be having a breakdown? He did not smoke, has never hurt anyone, does not keep friends, and is a very quiet person. You bound his hands and feet and hanged him like an animal. I pray his face is edged in all your minds and you feel what he felt when he took his last breath and what we, his family, are going through. You did not give us the chance to get him the help he needed. In a society where everyone is forced to act tough and is ill-treated if they show any signs of vulnerability, the person end by saying, you are the sick ones. Now, <laughs> my viewers, my subscribers, time and time again, you have heard me saying this. I will not be coming here to promote jungle justice on this channel. And it's for reasons like these why I will not do it. For the persons who kill this young man, if you think you acted lawfully, my question to you is, why not go to the police and tell the police that it was you who killed him. If you think what you did was lawful or legal, why not go to the station and tell them that it was you and why you did it? I bet you, you will never ever do that. <laughs> Condolences to the family and friends of this young man. May his soul find rest. And for you, his killers, like the person wrote, I am hoping that Kiwian's face is edged in all your minds and that you feel what he felt when he took his last breath. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, crime it a mash up Jamaica. Criminals them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. I need a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica I could have sun shine a rain Jamaica no problem no pain Good boy them no go to a tail But me want me go to back Give me me go to back To the street and the lane Everybody them start to pain Bloodshed what a shame what a shame But me want me go to back Give me me go to back I need a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica Cry me a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica 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 the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and north and south when we turn Country and town man a play blood a run them a murder Cut it out Tell them no gun no further Man a dead like cans and bird ya Who no listen them a word ya Crime it a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica